Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. It's Mr. Ashley, and today we are distance learning. I know you guys um, didn't want to be in this situation uh, probably as much as I didn't want to either, but unfortunately, this is where we are. So I'm going to try and make this um, as interesting for you guys and as engaging as possible. So I thought, what a better way than to make a few videos for you. So today we're going to start with party platforms. In the past couple of weeks, we've been talking about how um, you know how propaganda techniques work, um, and how um, you know our elections actually work in this country. Uh, so today, let's take a look at how the ideas of candidates get brought out, um, so that we can pick who um, you know best represents us. And the best way to talk about this right now is just first define what party platform is. So a party platform is the goals of a political candidate, or uh, the party that they run for, and what they hope to accomplish if they get elected. Um, so, for example, um, let's say I'm running for president under uh, you know a political party. Uh, I might say in my party platform, you know, really support the environment, right? So, what might I support? Maybe I want to um, create more national parks. Now, it's important to understand just because I've made that promise, just because I said you know, I support national parks and that's in my party platform. That's in my platform as I run for president. Doesn't mean I'm going to actually do anything about adding national parks to this country, right? I could go eight years as president, go serve two terms and not have any impact on national parks whatsoever. Um, these are things that are promised, right? They're more to just, you know, get you to know the candidate more, um, some of these things are going to be more important than others. Uh, some of these things you're going to see that candidates are going to work harder towards because they're more important for you guys. Uh, and that's really the big part here that we need to understand is that political platforms are based on what the people want, what the people need, what is important to you. Um, so we also see that during a election cycle, right, between the times that we vote on presidents, or congressional members, um, that we see that these platforms change over time. What was important to us in 2017 is not nearly as important to us, is not nearly as important to us as you know what's going on here in 2020. So, for example, um, everyone's political platform, everyone's party platform, has um, something about COVID-19, right? Whatever they support, it's got something about COVID-19. Where in 2018, 2017, COVID-19 wasn't on anyone's radar. No one knew anything about COVID-19. It wasn't a thing yet. Um, other things that would be popular on political, you know, party platforms would be, um, you know, gun control or education reform or healthcare reform or tax code reform and things like that. Um, but we see a real pressing need right now in 2020, um, you know, to deal with COVID-19, and so that's the major. Um, ticket on every single platform. It's the major idea that's being talked about. It's a major topic. Um, and each one of these topics, each time we talk about um, you know, a different section of our party platform, every time we talk about a different idea or a different individual goal, that is a plank. So if we imagine that a party platform is a bridge, right? And this bridge is supposed to get us from being a, a candidate running for election to being the president of the United States or a senator or a house rep, um, the planks are the pieces of wood that are going to get us there, right? They're the thing that's going to support us. Um, so we need to choose the planks that mean the most to the people to get them to vote for us. Um, and we need to um, you know, choose the ones that are going to be the sturdiest, right? So if I am creating planks right now. I'm talking about COVID-19, uh, definitely. And I am looking at the different ideas, the different issues going on with COVID-19. So whether it's education or healthcare or elderly care or, you know, stimulus money, things like that, um, joblessness, right? Those are going to go into my planks, right? My ideas on each one of those issues is going to be a plank. These platforms are filled with hundreds of different planks and you can actually find them all um, on different websites like I'm going to show you guys later. Um, these kinds of planks are meant to um, 
you know, be our political stance, you know, what we truly believe in um, as we run for office. Um, so you can actually go and look on these websites um, about these different uh, political stances that these individuals have in order to find out, you know, which candidate best fits your needs, best fits the things that you uh, want to see in our leaders. Um, and I think that's really a uh, really important thing here is a lot of voters today are uh, very uninformed, right? They either vote because, you know, they're in a political party and they should, they think that they need to vote um, within that political party, or they think that they need to, you know, vote a certain way because, I don't know, that they need to vote. Um, but really, you know, if you're going to be an informed voter, if you're going to make a, a, a choice, um, you know, you know who to be president or who to be the senator, or who to be the house rep or who to be the governor or the mayor or whatever, you need to look at what they're saying, right? Because just because they're in your political party or just because you like who they are as a person doesn't mean that they support the same things you do. Oftentimes we'll see that Republicans running for office will have uh, more liberal kind of social issues, right? They'll believe more in like LGBTQ rights or civil rights for minorities and things of that nature. And we also see a lot of times when Democrats run for office that they'll believe more in conservative um, types of economic, um, you know, structures, you know, how to, you know, tax people and how to build business. They believe in those more conservative kind of economic things. Um, so just because a, a candidate fits in your political party doesn't mean that they're necessarily the best choice for you. You need to go and you need to examine each candidate. And one of the cool websites that uh, I, I like to look at when I'm looking at um, different um, you know, candidates running for office is um, this, this website called ProCon.org. Uh, ProCon.org actually takes each one of the candidates lines them up against one another, um, and, and it breaks down their stances on every question they've been asked about their platform. So things from crime and justice to domestic policy um, to environmental issues, economy and healthcare, those kinds of things. So you can go there, you can look at what each candidate is saying, and you can choose the one that actually fits what you believe in the most. Now, just because, let's say, like, there's 70 planks, right? There's 70 different ideas they're talking about. And they believe in, you know, 60 of the ones that I believe in. Doesn't mean I'm going to choose them, right? I might choose someone that believes in, you know, less things that I believe in. If those things I think about are, like, more valuable. So, you know, maybe I really, I really value education, right? I really value um, you guys, you know, getting the opportunity to learn and the opportunity to compete with other people and so maybe I'll you know try and find a candidate that that values education more right they might not believe in some of the other things that I believe in um but if they believe in you know strengthening our education system um then I'm going to vote for them cuz I I I support that so strongly <clears throat> so maybe you guys have that political issue maybe you guys have that issue that you want to support um that kind of like you know defeats all your other issues um that's cool. That's fine. You can do that. Um, it's just all a matter of making sure you're an informed voter, making sure you know what each platform is for each candidate, what each plank is for each candidate, and comparing them, right? It's not just enough to just look at one candidate and say, well, I like some of their ideas and not others. You got to find whether, um, you know, he, how each candidate stacks up against the others. Um, so today, like I said, uh, was political platforms. Um, next class, we'll be talking about some other issues uh, in, you know, in, in, in um, our own political spheres here in the United States. Um, but for now, guys, have a great rest of your day, and please stay safe and stay healthy.